So this is what the sort of OSTAR system looks like. We're logged in now to YSF. And uh, yeah, even I'm still not very clear with it all. So there's your YSF gateway there. You can look up what's going on. It says I'm linked to America Link. Go back to dashboard. Then you've got settings here. Um, so I've got my call sign, DMI number. I can't see anywhere to put my self-care password frequency for the hotspot that I'm, you know, for the radio that I'm using. And that all seems pretty sta straightforward. Settings here. Just did that. You can set every time you save live logs. Let's click just MMDVM host. See what we see there. More logs, dashboard. And then you've got radio here. That's basically your dashboard, isn't it? And then we can click administration. O star. And it's showing that I'm logged into my, you know, to my internet. I had to log into my internet. I had to go to this thing called services at the top, then travel mate. Then you, I had to go to wireless stations and then I, I sort of edited it, you know, put in my username, password. I selected WPA2PSK. Okay, let's go back one. And then I moved it to the top by going up and down here. I moved it to the top so it logged into that first. Uh, view log file. Don't know really anything about that. Advanced. I was hoping to find in advance where I would put my, um, you know, my self-care password. I'm sure there's a way of doing it. I'm, it's going to be like here's, for example, config for my O star for Mercury. These are the three Wi-Fi's that were in the were, that were in it basically and some IP and edit firewall, I get all that. So the thing I really need to know, if anyone has ever used one of these, is if I go back to radio settings, uh, where's that? I've seen this, but there's another system we can go. Let's go advance. And um, we've got, go to, I think that one's DMR, the one IRC DDB is DMR. And look for self-care, repeater band, ICOM, gateway address, default type. Anyone see offset? So what I'm going to do is in that section of DMR, I'm going to add here where it says password. Lost it now. It says it. Sorry, I keep losing it. DMR password here. I'm going to put in my password. Like so, and save. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell it to reboot using uh, YSF. So we'll go back to O to um, O star. Then digital modes. It's just about learning a new system, isn't it? Digital modes. Now you have to enable the one you're going to use. So at the moment we've enabled YSF. We'll just unenable that, and we'll enable. DMR, like so, and we think we've changed the password. We've selected BM2341, which is what we always use. And we're going to save that. And then it will co go over to my DMR radio. Go back to general. See if the hotspot starts to receive anything. Everything takes a minute, a few minutes to sort of populate. So let's just key the mic. Yeah, I'm keying the mic. I'm seeing that DMR's coming on the radio. It's just whether we can hear anything. 
So, back soon. Oh, I hear the the noise of 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 YSF, so it hasn't switched yet. So it's applying those changes to go to DMR. It says configuration changes applied. So with a bit of luck, we'll get back on DMR. And what we do, we click O star to get onto the dashboard. Let's just key the microphone on the radio. See if we're on, D yeah, it says we're on DMR slot two. It's got the correct DMR number. Now we need to know if we hear anything, because I've been on it before, but we couldn't hear any, any DMR stations.